In 1858, in the suburbs of Buenos Aires, Argentina, a talented artist was born. Gabino Azeza was a black Argentine who would go on to cement his name in the annals of history as one of the greatest pioneers of the famous tango music, the tango, a dance and musical genre that has come to symbolize Argentina's rich cultural heritage, owes much of its origin to the influence of Afro-Argentine musician and dancer Gabino Ezeza. Just like him, many black individuals were significant to the development of Argentina, the likes of Miguel Montuori, who is described as one of the greatest footballers in the history of Florentina, as well as Juan Bautista Cabral and Antonio Ruiz, who are both war heroes leading the charge in Argentina's independence war. There is also Ramon Carrillo, who from 1949 to 1954 served as the nation's first minister of public health and Bernardino Rivadavia, the first president of Argentina. Yet, as time has passed and the nation evolved, the truth of this would be erased. Being black in Argentina would no longer be a symbol of pride, but one of shame, discrimination, and racism. To understand what it's like to be black in Argentina, one must delve deep into the country's complex history of racial dynamics, as well as its present-day socio-cultural landscape. Argentina's image as a predominantly white and European nation obscures a significant but often overlooked part of its history, the presence of black people, their contributions, and the challenges they have faced. In this video, we will trace the historical roots of black presence in Argentina, discuss the processes of extermination and erasure, and examine the contemporary experiences of black Argentines. Before we get right into the video, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel to keep informed of our eye-opening black narrative. The arrival of black people in Argentina dates back to the early days of Spanish colonialism. The transatlantic slave trade played a significant role in shaping the demographic landscape of the region. Africans were brought to Argentina primarily as slaves to work on plantations and in domestic settings. Their labor was essential to the economic prosperity of the Spanish colony, but their presence was marred by systemic racism and exploitation. The majority of black individuals who arrived in Argentina were brought to regions such as Buenos Aires, Córdoba, and Santa Fe. The history of black slavery and labor in these areas can still be seen in various aspects of Argentine culture, from music to food and dance. Tango, for instance, a quintessential Argentine art form, has its roots in the African rhythms and dance styles brought by the enslaved Africans. As the nation moved towards independence from Spanish colonial rule, the dynamics of racial prejudice and discrimination began to shift. The 1813 Argentine Assembly adopted a freedom decree, declaring the abolition of slavery. However, this did not mark the end of discrimination and racism against black people. In the years following abolition, a process of erasure began to take place, attempting to remove black identity from the Argentine national narrative. There were several factors contributing to this erasure. Number one, whitening policies. The Argentine government actively promoted whitening policies, particularly in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. One key figure in this effort was Domingo Sarmiento, a prominent intellectual and the seventh president of Argentina from 1868 to 1874. Sarmiento is well known for advocating the civilization or barbarism doctrine, which idealized European civilization and saw indigenous and black cultures as inferior. Sarmiento's policies aimed at encouraging European immigration to Argentina, particularly from countries like Italy and Spain. These European immigrants were seen as a means of improving the national racial stock. The Argentine government actively encouraged European immigration through a series of initiatives, including offering free land to European immigrants. The result was a mass influx of European immigrants during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This period, often referred to as the immigrant era, significantly changed the demographics of the country. However, it did so at the expense of marginalizing the existing black and indigenous populations. Alongside the promotion of European immigration, the government also sought to promote the assimilation of European immigrants into Argentine society. This was done through various means, including the establishment of schools and institutions that taught European culture and language. The influx of European immigrants did indeed contribute to the demographic shift in Argentina, 
but it also marginalized the pre-existing black and indigenous populations. The government's official stance was to create a homogeneous and whitened society, and it actively discouraged the acknowledgement of Afro-Argentine heritage and culture. Number 2. Racial Mixing and Mestizaje The concept of mestizaje, or racial mixing, was another crucial aspect of the erasure of black identity in Argentina. It was promoted as a means to dilute the African and indigenous presence in the population and to advance the idea of a whitened nation. During the early 20th century, a wave of intellectual thought known as positivism gained prominence in Argentina. This intellectual movement, led by figures like Juan Maria Gutierrez, promoted the idea that racial mixing would lead to societal progress. Juan Maria Gutierrez, a prominent Argentine poet and essayist, was influential in spreading the notion that racial mixing was a means of advancing the nation. This ideology reinforced the idea that mixing races would result in a more advanced and prosperous Argentina. To promote mestizaje, the government provided incentives for European men to marry indigenous or Afro-Argentine women. These incentives included the allocation of land as a reward for interethnic marriage. This policy aimed at ensuring that future generations would have a whiter appearance. The government believed that over time, this would lead to the whitening of the entire population. Number 3. Historical Amnesia Historical amnesia played a significant role in the erasure of black identity from the Argentine national narrative. The omission of black history from educational curricula, official documents and public discourse contributed to the collective forgetting of the black contribution to Argentine culture and society. In schools and textbooks, there was a noticeable absence of black figures and their contributions to Argentina's history. This omission reinforced the idea that black people were not an integral part of the country's past. Educational curricula, shaped by the whitening policies and societal attitudes, omitted the history of black Argentines. This had long-lasting consequences on the collective memory and awareness of the Afro-Argentine community. The erasure of black identity extended beyond history and education. It permeated the cultural landscape as well. Black cultural contributions, such as music and dance, were often de-emphasized or credited to European influences. Tango, a quintessential Argentine art form, is a prime example of this phenomenon. While its roots are deeply intertwined with African rhythms and dance styles, the African influence in its development was often overlooked or minimized. With such dark history of racial discrimination and prejudice against black people in Argentina, you can only begin to imagine what the reality must feel like. Despite the country's historical erasure of black identity, racial profiling and discrimination persist as significant challenges faced by black Argentines that still remain in the country. Law Enforcement Black Argentines are disproportionately subjected to racial profiling by law enforcement. Reports and studies have highlighted instances where individuals are stopped, questioned, or detained by police solely on the basis of their race. Such profiling not only infringes on the rights of individuals, but also perpetuates mistrust and fear within the black community. The findings and recommendations issued by the UN Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination CERD, regarding Argentina in 2023 shed light on significant issues related to racial discrimination and police violence in the country. The CERD report highlights a disturbing pattern of police violence in Argentina, with a particular emphasis on its disproportionate impact on vulnerable and marginalized communities. Indigenous peoples, people of African descent, and migrants are the most affected by this violence. The report underscores that the actions of law enforcement agencies including instances resulting in fatalities, have had a severe and unjust impact on these communities. Another critical issue raised by the CERD is racial profiling by police forces and other law enforcement officials. Racial profiling is a discriminatory practice where individuals are targeted solely on the basis of their race or ethnicity. This practice leads to a higher likelihood of harassment, violence, and unwarranted arrests for individuals from marginalized backgrounds. Education Access to quality education is a fundamental right that is often hindered for black Argentines. 
segregated and underfunded schools, coupled with a lack of inclusive curricula that acknowledge black history and contributions, perpetuate systemic inequalities. The disparities in education can have a profound impact on the future prospects of black students, limiting their opportunities for personal and professional growth. Segregated schools, though less overt than in the past, continue to exist and they disproportionately serve black communities. This de facto segregation results in unequal access to educational resources and opportunities. Students in these schools often face overcrowded classrooms, outdated materials, and limited extracurricular activities, all of which can negatively affect their learning experience. Furthermore, underfunding is a persistent issue in many schools serving predominantly black populations. These schools often receive fewer resources, such as up-to-date textbooks, well-maintained facilities, and experienced teachers. The unequal distribution of resources perpetuates educational disparities and reinforces systemic inequalities that disadvantage black students. The lack of inclusive curricula is another significant barrier. Educational materials rarely acknowledge black history and contributions, which perpetuates historical amnesia and the erasure of black identities from the national narrative. This omission not only fails to recognize the rich and diverse history of black Argentines, but also reinforces the idea that their contributions are unimportant. As a result, black students may grow up without a sense of belonging or validation in the education system, which can negatively affect their self-esteem and motivation to learn. Discrimination in schools, whether from peers or educators, further compounds the challenges faced by black students. Students may encounter racial bias and stereotypes, which can result in exclusion, bullying, and a hostile learning environment. Educators themselves may hold biases that affect their interactions with black students, potentially leading to lower expectations and less support for academic and personal development. These experiences of discrimination, combined with a lack of inclusive curricula and underfunded schools, can have several consequences for the educational outcomes of black students. They may have lower graduation rates, decreased access to higher education, and limited career opportunities. The absence of diverse perspectives in education not only affects black students, but also perpetuates a cycle of ignorance and bias that hinders societal progress towards greater inclusivity and equality. Media Afro-Argentines have been a part of Argentina's history for centuries, with a significant presence in regions such as Buenos Aires and the northern provinces. Despite this historical presence, they remain largely underrepresented in the media. This underrepresentation not only distorts the image of the nation, but also reinforces the erasure of black identities within the country. This erasure can lead to a sense of invisibility and a feeling of being excluded from the national identity. When black individuals are portrayed in the media, they are often relegated to stereotypical roles that are limited and damaging. These roles, such as domestic workers, criminals, or entertainers, perpetuate harmful biases and reinforce existing prejudices. It is painful for Afro-Argentines to see themselves consistently depicted in these narrow and stigmatizing ways, as it devalues their diverse experiences and contributions to society. The perpetuation of these stereotypes has tangible real-world consequences for black individuals in Argentina. It influences how they are perceived and treated by others in society. For instance, if someone is primarily exposed to negative portrayals of black people in the media, they may unconsciously hold biased views that can lead to discrimination in areas such as education, employment, and social interactions. Afro-Argentines may face microaggressions, racial profiling, and even overt acts of discrimination due to these stereotypes. These harmful media portrayals also contribute to the maintenance of systemic discrimination. When stereotypes are consistently reinforced, it becomes more challenging to challenge and dismantle existing racial inequalities. This makes it difficult for black Argentines to advocate for their rights, as they must first combat the damaging narratives perpetuated by the media. For Afro-Argentines, the pain of being black in Argentina extends beyond the external manifestations of discrimination. It also takes a psychological and emotional toll. Constant exposure to negative stereotypes and limited representation can lead to feelings of self-doubt, identity struggles, and a sense of not belonging. This emotional burden is an added layer of suffering that many members of this community must endure. 
In the face of historical erasure and ongoing discrimination, the Afro-Argentine community has demonstrated remarkable resilience and determination. Today, there has been a cultural resurgence and activism that have been central to the efforts of Afro-Argentines in asserting their identity, challenging discrimination, and advocating for justice, equality, and recognition. From celebrating their rich cultural heritage to pushing for policy changes and engaging in public awareness campaigns, the Afro-Argentine community has played an essential role in reshaping the narrative of what it means to be black in Argentina. Afro-Argentine culture is a vibrant tapestry of traditions and contributions that have deep historical roots in the nation. Music, dance, and cuisine are integral aspects of this culture, and they have long enriched the Argentine identity. One of the most iconic examples of this cultural fusion is the Argentine tango, which has its origins in African rhythms and dance styles. However, this significant African influence on tango's development has often been overlooked in favor of a more European narrative. In recent years, there has been a renewed appreciation for these cultural contributions. The Afro-Argentine community, alongside a broader segment of the population, has sought to reframe the narrative surrounding these cultural elements. This includes recognizing and celebrating the African influences on Argentine music, dance, and cuisine. For instance, traditional Afro-Argentine music and dance forms, such as candombe and milonga, have gained increased recognition and popularity. Festivals and events that celebrate Afro-Argentine culture have emerged, providing a platform for artists and performers to showcase their talents and educate the public about the rich cultural heritage. Beyond the cultural sphere, the culinary traditions of Afro-Argentines have also been acknowledged. Dishes like locro, a hearty stew, and empanadas salteñas, savory pastries, have African roots, and efforts have been made to ensure that their origins are recognized and celebrated. There have been several organizations fighting for the recognition of Afro-Argentines. The Afro-Argentine Women's Group plays a vital role in advocating for the rights and dignity of Black Argentines, with a particular focus on the experiences of Afro-Argentine women. They engage in a range of activities from organizing protests and public awareness campaigns to supporting initiatives that promote the inclusion of black women in various spheres of society. By highlighting the unique challenges faced by Afro-Argentine women, this group is instrumental in driving discussions around intersectional issues related to race and gender. There is also the Union de Trabajadores y Trabajadoras de la Economía Popular (UTEP) a labor, union, and social movement that seeks to address economic inequalities, including those faced by black Argentines. UTEP actively engages in advocating for the rights of marginalized groups, including black workers, in the informal economy. Their efforts include organizing protests and pushing for policy changes that can help improve the economic conditions and opportunities for the black community. Afro-Argentine activists and organizations have launched public awareness campaigns aimed at challenging stereotypes and biases, as well as educating the wider population about the history and contributions of black Argentines. Through social media, community events, and educational initiatives, they have successfully brought attention to the issues facing the Afro-Argentine community. In 2020, the Argentine government took a significant step by officially recognizing Afro-Argentines as a distinct ethnic group. This acknowledgement was a crucial milestone in addressing historical erasure and discrimination. By formally recognizing the unique identity and experiences of black Argentines, it represented a step toward rectifying past injustices. Afro-Argentine activists have also engaged with international movements focused on racial justice and equality. These collaborations have allowed them to learn from the experiences of other black communities worldwide and to amplify their voices on a global scale. Despite the remarkable progress made by the Afro-Argentine community and its allies, challenges persist. Discrimination and racial bias continue to affect black Argentines in various aspects of life, from employment and education to interactions with law enforcement. Additionally, erasure of black identity from the national narrative is deeply entrenched, and the fight against historical amnesia remains ongoing. The educational system, for example, still lacks comprehensive and inclusive curricula that recognize the history and contributions of black Argentines. This gap 
hinders efforts to overcome systemic inequalities, and promotes ignorance of the Afro-Argentine community's history and significance. Moreover, the persistence of negative stereotypes in media representations remains a significant challenge. While there has been progress in challenging these stereotypes, they continue to influence public perceptions and contribute to the maintenance of systemic discrimination. The struggles faced by Afro-Argentines are rooted in a long-standing pattern of discrimination that permeates various aspects of society. Despite the enduring legacy of systemic biases and historical amnesia, the Afro-Argentine community has shown remarkable resilience in asserting its identity, challenging discrimination, and advocating for a more equitable and inclusive Argentina. The erasure of black identity and history in Argentina is an ongoing battle that affects the daily lives of black individuals. Discrimination and racial bias persist in education, employment, and interactions with law enforcement, creating barriers to equality and justice. Negative stereotypes perpetuated by the media further compound these challenges, shaping public perceptions and contributing to the maintenance of systemic discrimination. However, the struggle is far from over. Argentina must continue to confront its history of Erisher and actively work to rectify the injustices faced by the Afro-Argentine community. It is a journey toward a more inclusive and equitable society that fully embraces the rich history and contributions of black Argentines. This fight against discrimination and for justice and recognition is a universal one, resonating beyond Argentina's borders and speaking to the broader global challenge of confronting racial injustice and prejudice. This brings us to the end of this video. Tell us what you think in the comment section, as we are always interested in your thoughts. As always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel and share our videos to let more people know the truth about blacks and to hear their own part of the narratives. Thanks for watching.